Head is a measurement of the energy possessed by the water at any particular location in the water system. Head is used to calculate the hydraulic forces acting in a pipeline and to determine a pump's capacity to overcome or pump against these forces. One foot of head is equal to 0.43 psi or 2.31 feet of head equals 1 psi. Make sure you know these conversion factors as water operators often need to convert back and forth between psi and head. If we have a pressure gauge reading of 14 feet, how many psi is that? We take the 14 feet divided by 2.31 feet per psi. The feet cancel out and we are left with 6.06 .06 psi. If we have a head reading of 250 feet, what is the psi on the pressure gauge? It's basically the same calculation. If we want to know PSI, this is going to equal head and feet divided by 2.31 feet per PSI, which equals 108 PSI. To determine head in metric units, we need to know that there are 0.102 meters per kilopascal of head. Therefore, if we have a pressure gauge reading of 210 kilopascals, we take 210 kilopascals times 0.102 meters per kilopascal. The units cancel out, resulting in an answer of 21.4 meters of head. Next, we will look at force. Force is equal to mass times acceleration or pressure times area. If we have a pressure of 12 psi over a surface area of 120 square inches, what is the force? Using our equation, 12 psi times the 120 inches, the inches cancel and that leaves us with 1,440 pounds of force on that particular area. Let's try another pressure calculation. If there was a pressure of 55 psi on a surface that is 1 foot by 2 foot, what is the force on the surface? Now keep in mind, the pressure is in units of psi and the area is in units of feet. So we need to do a unit conversion of feet to inches. Our area is then 12 inches by 24 inches or 288 square inches. So now we can take the area times 55 psi pressure and that gives us 15,840 pounds of force.